Hello guys, in this lecture, I will discuss about the step response of critically damped second order system. Going to the step 1, for critically damped system, what is the value of zeta? Zeta is equal to 1. Then second step, second order, this is second order system. So transfer function of the second order system is C of S divided by R of S is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n s square. This is the transfer function for second order system. If zeta value is 1, then what is the modified transfer function? C of s divided by R of s that is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 omega n s plus omega n square. So, e transfer function ni changes kundi C of S by R of S is equal to denominator lo roots kawal manki. So, roots can form just kundi S plus omega n whole square. There are two similar roots, equal roots uchche. Clear? Right. Now, what is the input value? R of T is 1. So, R of S is 1 by S. Laplace transformation apply just 1 by S was in Okay. So, output response in S domain C of S is equal to omega n square divided by input response 1 by S into S plus omega n whole square. This is the final response, output response in S domain. But, it is not We need output response in time domain. So, by applying the inverse Laplace transformation to the expression C of S, so, apply we have to take the partial fractions. Partial fractions apply chayali. Multiple roots on a transfer function can be a transfer function apply chayali. Please click in the above link, then check the video. So, if you can press the link in the click chest, multiple roots on a transfer function ki inverse Laplace transformation allow apply chayali. Then A by S plus B by S plus omega n plus C by S plus omega n whole square. Okay, after taking the partial fractions, what is the value of A? We will get A equal to 1, B is equal to minus 1, C is equal to minus omega n divided by S plus omega n whole square. So, we have partial fractions in the pi video. Okay, same video link in the description of the post. We will check the partial fractions divided by the partial now, apply the inverse Laplace transformation to this expression, then you will get C of t is equal to for 1 by S 1 minus 1 by S plus A. Laplace in inverse of 1 by S plus A is the e power minus a t. Okay, here a value is omega n. So, e power minus omega n into t. Next, minus. So, for Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a whole square is equal to t into e power minus a t just multiplication of t then minus omega n into t e power minus omega n into t ok now finally 1 minus e power minus omega n t is the common term then you will get multiplication of 1 minus omega n into t this is the final expression c of t so, man covers output response input step input in input watch in the end. Then analysis chase man graph check chat them. Okay. Okay, take input value is 0 t r of t step response. Output output is c of t with respect to t. Already we know that in the first uh, order system. So, man first order system already tells us that exponential function on the wave form allows the exponential wave form 0 to slowly increasing and it reaches to the steady state value. So, same first order system like what is the critically damped system. Okay, this is the response of the second order system when the input is step input when the system is critically damped system. Clear? Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next class.